you might have heard about RPG Maker series, a great software that allows you to create your own role-playing games similar to the old Final Fantasy series. I myself have a really good memories about RPG Maker as it was my first entry to the game development. I was surprised when a new version of RPG Maker was announced, RPG Maker Unite, a first in the series that is not a standalone application, but a piece of software that lives inside the Unity game engine. Thanks to the awesome people at Unity who sponsored this video, I had a chance to play with it for the last two weeks and I'd like to share with you my first impressions. Let's start with the basics. RPG Maker Unite is actually a Unity plugin that can be purchased in the Unity Asset Store that needs to be imported using the Package Manager. After the complete import, we are welcomed to this interface. I was a bit puzzled the first time I saw it. It looks like Unity, but all of the windows and options are totally different. Even the play button was replaced by this small icon right here. Actually, look at this whole row at the top. I wonder what this button does? Oh, it definitely takes some time to get used to, but the upsides are that everything is in the same place and you don't need to click confusing buttons at the top like in previous RPG Maker apps. Also, don't forget, it's Unity, so you can rearrange all the windows however you'd like. For everyone who is not familiar with RPG Maker editors, you need to know that the whole experience is split into drawing your maps, creating events and setting up your game database. Let's start with the first one. If you ever use the built-in tilemap editor in Unity, you should be familiar with this. You basically draw objects on the map using multiple tools and layers. You can easily create multiple maps just by clicking an option in the sidebar. Each map has its separate settings and tiles. Talking about the tiles, you get a ton of them built in with the asset. It's easy to build world maps, home interiors or even dungeons. What is good about the map editor is that each tile has its own settings. That way, you don't need to worry about the layers and custom logic to avoid player walking on obstacles. You simply define the passage for each tile globally and you're ready to go. One thing that I found confusing is that in older versions of RPG Maker, I selected a tile map for the whole map and it was incredibly easy to get started. But here I need to either add each tile one by one or I can load a tile groups. I much prefer the older solution, but I guess this system gives you a bit more flexibility. Another small issue is that most of the used assets are imported from the previous RPG Maker engines. Don't get me wrong, I pretty like this art style, but I wish they will add some new graphics to work with. After the map is ready, I go to the event section, right click anywhere on the map and select initial placement player to tell the engine where is the starting player position. And we are done. When I press play, you can see that all other logic like the main menu and character movement is ready, so we don't need to worry about that. By the way, the music playing in the background is one of the built-in tracks which you can easily assign from the handy editor. Events are part of RPG Maker that make the software accessible for everyone. It allows you to program your whole game without writing a single line of code. To define what should happen on the scene, we need to enter Events mode that puts a new layer of event triggers on top of the designed map. You can see that clearly in previous releases where after designing a whole map, I could enter Events mode and define trigger properties and events. Instead of writing code, you prepare your logic using event blocks. You can define custom text messages, show choices, move characters around the scene, start battles and even set variables and add custom logic based on that. If you haven't used RPG Maker before, you'd be surprised how versatile it is. Many games based on RPG Maker prove that you can build very engaging stories using those tools. 
That being said, I'm not very happy about some of the UI decisions. The events panel seems a bit cluttered to me, and the event inspector on the right often has some broken interface elements. What's even worse, adding events is quite painful. Each time you want to add a new event action, you need to right-click, select New Event from the drop-down, click multiple toggles to find what you are searching for, and select your desired option. If by watching this you started screaming to pin this window to the right, bad news, each time you select any of the options, it disappears. I wish this process will be more streamlined, because even adding a simple message block is now quite a tedious task compared to the old RPG makers. Database is a place where you can define all details about your game. Here you can edit a ton of things like all equipment items, enemy groups, actors, NPCs, and many, many more. Most of the settings are quite simple to manage. But if you'd like to go more in-depth, you can start tweaking some advanced values like class settings with skill selection, experience curves, and parameter graphs. The good thing is that if you don't want to, you don't need to worry about all of that. The engine comes with default values, so you can focus on creating your game logic and edit the database only when needed. Nice addition in Unite is UI Editor that allows you to change frame colors, fonts, and layout. Throughout the RPG Maker history, the database section has always been the most cluttered UI, simply because of the amount of things and values you can tweak. I'm quite accustomed to this classic layout, but the new look with toggles can also make sense, for example, if you'd like to quickly reference some of the database values on the fly. All of that is nice, but we need to address the elephant in the room. At the time of writing this review, I'm using the version 1.0, which in my opinion has been a bit rushed. As a fan of RPG Maker series, I would really like for this product to succeed and offer way more than previous releases, but at the current state I only see broken UI components, constant crashes and performance issues. For example, the first import of the asset took me around 15 to 20 minutes. Then, when I close Unity, or accidentally press this button next to the play icon, I need to wait another 5 minutes for the full project to load. In the game UI settings I previously mentioned, changing any value can take up to 15 seconds. And if after all of that you created your game and you'd like to build it and send it to a friend, you can experience a 15-minute build time. Fortunately, the creators of RPG Maker have acknowledged those issues and they already shared the roadmap for the changes and fixes. I also find out that the community around Unite is forming and there is already a plugin on GitHub that drastically improves the performance of the app and build times. Previous RPG Maker releases already showed that with a strong community and a great plugin support, you can create pretty much everything. RPG Maker Unite still allows you to enter Unity Editor mode to tinker with the game files and scripts. That can open up a world of possibilities. I will be very happy to discover new plugins that will change the built-in logic and, of course, all the games that will be created with it. What do you think about a game engine living inside of another game engine? Let me know down in comments. If you want to learn more about Unity, check out my other videos shown on the screen. Special thanks to all of my patrons supporting CocoCode. See you soon!